and I'm live! Hello anyone who's uh, gotten the jump on at all and is already tuning in. Um, we're just going to break out a few little technical issues. A few little technical issues, that means I'm going to be typing a little bit. Um, exciting times! I've never done a live streaming concert before. Um, and so I'm just giving it a few minutes for the people to join in. The people I anticipate, who might be you, or you, or you. Um, I'm glad I have been live streaming other things, so if not music. And so, uh, yeah, it's making me, it's making me more happy. Oh, I wonder if I can share this to a group. It looks like I can. Da, 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 da. Like the bird in the sky, how sweet it would be if I found I could fly. I'm just practicing a hot song to the sun and look out down at the sea. Cool. I can see there's already two people watching and that is pretty exciting. I also have my... That wasn't as that wasn't as cool as it might have been. <laughs> I've also got one of my kids watching in the room with me, so that's a great relief to me. Hello. A great relief to me. Um, like I started in about five minutes, so I guess the time is ripe to get yourself a cup of tea or what have you. I took an online ballet class the other day, and I was very admiring. I was very admiring of the person who is in her kitchen, I think she was in Spain in her kitchen, drinking champagne and doing a ballet class at five in the afternoon. I thought it was very suitable behavior. Um, admirable, admirable. I like that kind of thing. Uh, so if you yourself have champagne, well, I think you know what to do. Uh, cool. Hi, everybody. Hello, Camille, hi, and hi, Tommy. Uh, it's good to see you guys. Good to see your faces pop up. I'm gonna start in about five or six minutes um, with a bunch of songs. Um, a little bit nervous. So maybe I'll do like a little nerve-breaking thing, which you are welcome to join me in. I'm gonna go like this. And breathe. <laughs> Uh, hi, Ali. Uh, <laughs> um, yep, I'm excited. It's gonna be fun. I have a cup of tea. I've got. I don't know what else I have. I've got my style. I think that's a Nina Simone there. in there. Mm, I'm gonna be turning on the microphone in a little bit, so you'll be hearing things a little bit more deeply. Um, uh, Hello Imogen! Cool. Is everything going to be fine? I think everything is going to be fine. Again, we still have a few minutes. Maybe I'll turn it over this way a tiny little bit. A tiny little bit. That's probably a little bit better. Mm, I was looking for the proper spot in my house to frame and I decided to show in the background there that really lovely piece of art, this one, uh, which is a thing that my very good friend Fergus Byrne made. Um, I love it. What it is is two knitting needles and then it's actually based off of the, a pattern of a scarf that my mother made for him. and. Uh, so yeah, that's the pattern of the scarf, the, kind of the different watermarks. Actually, I might just bring it up a little bit and show you all. It's there. I think it's really lovely. And he gave it to me after my mama died about three and a half years ago. Um, a lovely gift and so. Yes, that is my background today. That is my background today. Um... Yes, I suppose I still have a few minutes to uh, fill. Still have a few minutes to fill here. Um, 
I'm gonna look really busy here. I'm gonna I'm gonna just scroll around this territory on the interweb and see what comes up. Um really uh happy to be here and I'm happy to be here through Children in Crossfire. Um which from what I know about it, like my good friend, my dear friend Jenny McDonald has been talking about it for a good few years now. It sounds like it's an organization based largely in compassion. Um, and in teaching compassion and what a beautiful thing to offer this wild world that we live in um, so maybe even just now as we are preparing the concert we could all together collectively in our own spaces just draw in a big inhalation and then exhale I'm doing this for myself of course and just relax and another deep breath. Hi, Christina. And exhaling. Mm, hi. Just here together. Um, I'm going to do some of my favorite songs here for you today. Some of them I've been singing for years and some of them I've only just learned. Um, if you would be interested in sharing, sharing this stuff as a watch party, then that would be really lovely if you're not so bothered then don't do it. Um, I'm gonna look at something, hold on. So I'd like to thank, I would like to thank Miss D Abbott for having me on today. Um, this is part of a 16, a 16 episode series of uh, presentations around social, the sustainable development goals, the SDGs. And the one that I'm working with is uh, equality or the inequality, fixing inequality, repairing inequality. Um, and so thinking about any and all songs I might know that have to do with inequality, a lot of them seem to come from this impulse of like turning over the status quo and uh, yeah, leveling, leveling an old playing field. Uh, something that I think is really critical right now for that, like I've, I've been very pro basic minimum income since the very first moment that I saw it, uh, and now I'm thinking that what we actually need are basic minimum services. Like we need free public transport, we need food, we need medical care, we need utilities, uh, we need attention to our persons, and we have the opportunity and we have the right to be really happy, and I think that basic minimum services could go a long way in doing that, like it would really help with all of the all of the millions and millions of people who've lost their jobs right now. Uh, I think it's kind of a worldwide initiative, um, because if everything is taken care of, if all of our needs are met, then we can work together toward the betterment of humanity and toward personal satisfaction within our lives. Um, yeah, I think when so much is going wrong with a person's life, and like lots of things are going wrong with our lives, right? Personally and worldwide. Uh, it can be really easy to internalize that, like bad things keep happening to me. And so I, and I've been told my whole life also under capitalism that I'm not quite enough and I need this product and I need to do this and I need to have this thing in order to feel like I'm enough. Um, and so that makes us end up feeling like there's something wrong with us. But actually it's all just the system that we're in, which is like, selling you a vision of yourself as being needy and at the same time it's making it impossible to live without disruption um, so yeah basic minimum services I think should be really a strong platform that we can offer and uh, or that we should be fighting for right now about basic minimum income it would give everything a chance to deconstruct it would give our green industries a chance to come up I'm gonna stop talking and start singing in just a second here <laughs> but I really couldn't agree with myself more, you know? <laughs> um, so I think I'm going to put the guitar down actually and start with something a cappella. Uh, so this song I was introduced to in. I'm going to turn off my comments. This song I was introduced to through the movie Bugsy Malone. 
I don't know if y'all are familiar with Bugsy Malone, uh, but this is a song that Blousey sings uh, during an audition, just kind of in the background, and I heard the tune when I was a child, like a long, long, long time ago, and um, a long, long, long time ago. I heard the tune as a child, and I've loved it the whole time, my whole life. Um, called Brother, Can You Spare a Dime? It's like, they used to tell me I was building a dream, and so I followed them up. When there was earth to plow, or guns to bear, I was always right there on the job. They used to tell me I was building a dream, with peace and glory ahead Why should I be standing in line Waiting for bread Once I built a railroad Made it run Made it race against time Once I built a railroad Now it's done Brother, can you spare a dime? Once I built a tower to the sun Brick and river and lime Once I built a tower, now it's done Brother, can you spare a dime? Once in khaki suits, gee, we looked swell Full of the Yankee Doodle Dawn Half a million boats slogging through hell And I was the kid with the drum Say, don't you remember they called me Al? It was Al all the time Why don't you remember I'm your pal? Brother, can you spare a dime? Say, don't you remember they called me Al? It was Al all the time. Why don't you remember I'm your pal? Brother, can you spare a dime? Numero uno. I assume everyone is going wild with applause. Wild with applause. <laughs> I can only imagine these things, but I can see my boy up there behind me, miming, clapping. It means a lot. Thanks, B. <laughs> okay. Um, so. The next song I was exposed to personally just a few short years ago, which is called The Marching Jobless Corps. Um, it's by Daniel Kahn in The Painted Bird. And yeah. Yeah, my other big thinking around, around what's happening right now in the world is yeah things are not normal anymore and i really am feeling like it's just going for quite a while i think we all know um yeah i think that when it when it comes back when our economy opens back up again i think we really need to look at uh not going back to work or we need to look at workplace occupations. I think we need to look at factory takeovers. I think we need to look at all kinds of radical uh, taking over infrastructure. And that is a very exciting idea to me. I think it goes hand in hand with the old basic minimum services idea. Um, like let the people who know the work do the work and yeah, not let normal come back again. Like, we've had this chance now with this massive disruption, and we really need to take advantage of it. I think it's exciting and uh, scary, and... Galvanizing. 
One, two, three, four. Join the marching jobless corps. No work in the factories. No more manufacturing. All the tools are broken, rusted. Every wheel and window busted. Out into the streets we go. Idle as a seat. One, two, three, four, join the marching jobless corps. We don't need to pay no rent, sleeping in a camping tent. Dumpster diving don't take money, every bite we share with twenty. Let the yuppies drink their wine, beer and buckfast suit us fine. Beer and buckfast suit us fine. One, two, three, four, join the marching jobless corps. Paid our taxes, ran off debt. What did our work manifest? Houses, cars, and other shit for the rich's benefit. What do workers get for pay? socialist movement that uh, existed for a few years in the early 1910s and some really good music came out of that time period. It's pretty cool. I recommend looking it up. There's lots of great songs. Mm. Okay, so this is a newer song to me. Um, I think a lot of you might know it and if there is any singing along that happens in the privacy of your own gaff, then that's really good, I think. Um, Share all the love. 
like far away in history and current cutting edge in present um, with Which Side Are You On from Pete Seeger. Um, so Pete Seeger was a great protest song singer and writer. Um, I have gone ahead and added a few new lyrics to this one. Turn the other cheek. 
us will stand a chance unless we organize. Oh, people stand together, don't listen to the lies. None of us will have a chance unless we organize. Which side are you on now? Which side are you? Thanks for listening, thanks for listening. Okay, so I'm going to move into a couple of songs that I myself have written. Um, they are from, these next two are from Capitalism the Musical, which is a musical that I myself wrote with the help a lot of, uh, with Mr. Don Lanan, I uh, did a lot of help with the orchestration and arrangement. I wrote it over about six years. It was a labor of love with a tremendously large and beautiful and very kind and uh, loving cast and uh, full band. <coughs> and uh, this song is from the perspective of one of the emperor class people um, who is sort of coming to an awakening that everything is not as like fabulous as it could be. So this is all about, yeah, the first world. It's called Walled City. They close the ranks of the walled city, refuse to share. Our daily bread, the things I've seen beyond our borders, fill my bones with longing dread inside the walls of the walled city. My family leads the easy life. They've shrugged off. Turmoil, abandoned want, abandoned strife inside the walls of the walled city is where we keep the finest things, the choicest cuts, the cleanest water, the finest. Drink from behind the walls of the walled city. We orchestrate their daily lives. I pull the strings that make their news feeds. I throw them bones and tell them lies when they built the wall. City. They said it was to keep us safe. They said the terror would never strike us. And yet the walls begin to chafe. I climb the walls of the walled city. the place beyond God's grace and despite the walls of the walled city 
and never going to feel at ease. I just can't tell what makes us different. Why should they live out on their knees? They'll come through the walls of the walled city. I'll understand it when they do. I'm not sure we deserve their pity. There is a sickness spreading through. City. All right, I've got one more from Capitalism the Musical. One more lovely tune from Capitalism the Musical. And this one is going to be an a cappella um, as well. This song is called Darling Darling. But if you are in the musical, you would know that it's kind of secretly called Deirdre Murphy because I was having a little conversation with my ego, I think, at this moment when I was writing this song. And uh, yeah, the song deals with heroism and the complete like wash of ego that I think comes with heroism. Thinking, for example, of Edward Snowden and the way he stepped up at the great detriment of his own personal life. Uh, like he, has, he's, he abandoned his life uh, in order to make a humongous impact on humanity. Um, and I think that's a little bit what we need to do. We need to put our own personal agendas aside and move fleet feet okay so here we go dear to murphy what are you trying to say dear to murphy just step out of the way oh my Darling, darling, I can see the train wreck, oh sweet. Darling, darling, I think I'm caught in the track. How far will it go? How far will it go? Has it been made redundant, the things I'm trying to say? Cause we all know the problems, we just don't have the power to play. And if I enter the ring, what's my panel? While they strip us bare and frack the ground away Well, a loss of ego, a loss of personal life What defines a hero in our modern day strife? How far would I go? Tell me what would I do? Am I making excuses and have I tried hard enough? Have I entered the ring? Are my gloves on or off? Tell me what would I lose? Tell me what are my dues? We'll take a look at your freedoms. They're eroding away. There is no ebb and flow. They're being stripped away. How far will it go? How far will it go? Oh my darling, darling, tell me what's the next step? Oh sweet darling, darling, point me on the right path. If I take that risk at all, you should know it's not for me. If I take it on at all, well then I give it all for free. I think I've found the reasons. I think I've made my choice. I'm looking for a target at which to throw this golden voice. How far will it go? How far will it go? Oh my darling, darling, we only get one shot. If I'm still feeling safe, am I risking enough? Am I risking enough? Am I risking enough? Darling, darling, I don't know if I am risking enough. I don't, I don't think I am actually. Shoot. <laughs> um, cool. So I'm going to move on now to another song that I myself have written.
if you can believe that. Um, this one's called The Munition Maker's Daughter. Mm, I hope that my levels are okay. I should have asked her there. Are my levels okay? Uh, I think that they are. So this one I made on the loop station, which I have the real tendency to call a beatbox. So that's kind of what it is. But it's a loop station, not a beatbox. Um, so it's going to be an abrupt ending because that's the nature of the beast. Um, yeah. <clears throat> Have a little drink of water. There's a little cameo appearance of a little, uh, a few lyrics in this song. Maybe some of you can, um, maybe some of you can guess who they are. Most of them are for me. So, yes. I've been 
silent applause from all over the world. <laughs> um, okay, so I only have two more songs. Um, the next one is also a song that I've written. Um, my dear friend Aidan Foley has arranged the music for it, or has really produced the music for it, and it's actually moved on in exciting ways from the track one I'm about to uh, play for you. It actually has a theremin in it now, but we don't have quite the finished version of that. Um, Theremins are pretty exciting, I think we can all agree. I think we can all agree. Uh, let me find the track called on it. Just the one the moment. Just the one the moment. Okay. It's called, but I think you'll figure it out. Revolution. 
Ah, uh, so that one was good fun, good fun. Uh, I have recorded that one officially, and we're just just finalising the track, and we have a music video shot for it and everything, but it's not out yet. Um, but it will be soon. If you want to look at Deirdre Murphy Music on Instagram or Deirdre Murphy Music on Facebook, that's where you'll find me. Okay. So I only have got the one more track, and I, it's kind of the best for last kind of thing. It is an arrangement of the lovely and amazing, excuse me, the lovely and amazing Maya Angelou's pheno poem, Phenomenal Woman, um, Close to My Heart. What it is, is it's close to my heart. Uh, it's arranged by myself. I would like to dedicate it to all of the phenomenal women out there, cis, trans, etc. Every, every, all of them, all of them, uh, who are making the world tick and showing a duty of care and uh, teaching compassion and living and working in compassion. And, um, yep.
lovelies, that was it. That was it. Um, so big thanks again to Children in Crossfire. Thank you so much for having me. Uh, it's been a real pleasure and an honor. And uh, thanks to Dee Abbott and um, thanks to all of you guys who have watched. Please do say things. Please do say things in the comments. And um, that, might, that might be it. That might be it for me. Is there anything else I feel like I need to say? I don't think so. Mm. Love you guys. Bye.